glaciers, the mountains. It all has a spirit, and it all deserves your respect. It is alive. And I take, I ask you to not just see my home, feel my home. It's alive. And maybe that glacier will honor you with the cabbie. And if she does, that is a great honor. Because sometimes just being in her presence is the gift. The main attraction, sit plank. Have you not enjoyed any beauty as we were coming up to this point? Or say, Gunak Chish Sit Plank. That is the architect of all the beauty. That's the one that crushed all of these mountains, that made all of these waterways, and made me who I am. And I know how blessed I am, because I had grandmothers. I had auntie mamas that loved me so much to preserve this way of life. My way of life has been lived for 14,000 years. You always take care of what you have, so you have it to pass on to that next generation. Our elders, our grandmas, our grandparents, they took very well care of you. So you take very well care of them. They loved you enough to show you who you are. Your grandmothers, they're the knowledge keepers. They know who you are and where you come from. You take care of them because they taught you the way. They showed you this way in this world. Don't ever be afraid to be kind. Because we were born to take care of one another. And in my culture, how we take care of one another is through our opposites. The eagles, they take care of the ravens. The ravens, they take care of the eagles. We lived in harmony for many, many centuries because we gave thanks to everything. Even the Akaswani, the tree people, the tree people gave the highest respect. They gave their lives so we could preserve ours with our beautiful kotiyas that tell our stories, the totem poles, or the emblems to show what clans are represented there. Respect of all things, it is alive.